Hello everyone, myself Anand Joshi and I am working as an assistant professor in Chandigarh Polytechnic College, Gruma in Mechanical Department. So today our topic is Welding Process and Classification of Welding Processes. So now I am sharing with you a presentation on Welding Process. So this is a, a welding uh, topic slide. What is the meaning of welding? Welding is a materials joining process which produces coal seam of materials by heating them to suitable temperatures with or without the application of pressure or by the application of pressure alone and with or without the use of filler material. Welding is used for making permanent joints. It is used in the manufacture of automobile bodies aircraft frames, railway wagons, machine frames, structural works, tanks, furniture boilers, general repair work and ship building. The next, next slide is types. So we have a two types in the welding process, plastic welding or pressure welding and second is fusion welding or non-pressure welding. So in the plastic welding we have resistance welding mainly and in the second type fusion welding we have gas welding and arc welding. So in this slide classification of welding processes. So first type of arc welding we have a subdivided parts of arc welding processes carbon arc, metal arc, metal inert gas, tungsten inert gas, plasma arc, submerged arc and electro slag arcs. So in the second type gas welding oxyacetylene gas welding, air acetylene, oxyhydrogen welding. Third type is resistance welding, but spot, seam, projection and percussion resistance welding. Fourth part is thermite welding. And fifth one is solid state welding. In the solid state welding, friction fluid welding, ultrasonic welding, diffusion and explosive state welding. Sixth is never welding, electron beam and laser, those are the two parts in the never welding process. In the last is the related process. In the related process, first part is oxyacetylene cutting, second is arc cutting, third hard, hard facing, fourth basing and last one is soldering. In the next slide, first part is arc welding. So in the arc welding, equipments mainly used for welding generator DC or transfer AC. So in the meaning of DC is direct current and AC means is alternative current. Two cables, one for the work and one for the electrode. So the two cables are operated by terminals, positive and negative terminals. Third electrode holder, which holds the electrode Fourth one is electrode, fifth protective shield, gloves, wire brush, chipping hammer and goggles. In this slide, arc welding equipment diagram. So this is the red color box is a uh, power machine and welding machine. Which source of the power to given to the workpiece and electrode. So positive and negative terminal is connected to the workpiece and electrode. When the negative terminal is connected to the workpiece and positive terminal connected to the electrode, then we have a forward polarity. And if the sign changes, positive sign given to the workpiece and negative sign given to the electrode, then we have a reverse polarity. So in the reverse polarity, we have a less heat and the forward polarity we need a, and we have a high, high heat. So this is the process of arc welding equipment uh, operation. So this is the electrode holder, electrode and arc produces between the workpiece and electrode. Definition of a uh, arc welding. So this is the diagram of uh, when the arc welding is uh, operated. So uses an electric arc to call C material metals. Arc welding is the most common method of welding metals electricity travel from electrode to base metal to ground. 
So these are the advantages and limitations of arc welding. First point of advantage is most efficient way to join metals. Lowest cost joining method affords lighter weight through better utilization of materials. Joins all commercial metals. Provides design flexibility. So these are the advantages. Some uh, limitations also we have. Limitation first is manually applied, therefore high labor cost. Second is need high M energy causing danger. Third, not convenient for disassembly. And last is the defects are hard to detect at joints. So in this slide, comparison between AC and DC arc welding. So we discussed in the previous slide, what is the meaning of AC? AC meaning is alternative current from transformer. So it is having a some point more efficiency, power consumption less, cost of equipment is also less, higher voltage, hence not safe, not suitable for welding non-ferrous metals, not preferred for welding thin sections, and any terminal can be connected to the work or electrode in the AC supply. So in the DC, direct current is from the generator, less efficiency. Second point is power consumption more, cost of equipment is also more, low voltage, safer operation, suitable for both ferrous, non-ferrous metals, preferred for welding thin sections, positive terminal connected to the work and negative terminal connected to the electrode. So in the uh, direct current DC supply, uh, it is the important point, negative terminal always connected to the electrode. So gas welding is the another topic in the welding process. In the gas welding, sound weld is obtained by selecting proper size of flame, filler material and method of moving torch. The temperature generated during the process is 3300 degrees Celsius. When the metal is fused, oxygen from the atmosphere and the torch combines with molten metal and forms oxides, results defective weld. Fluxes are added to the welded metal to remove oxides. Common fluxes used are made of sodium, potassium, lithium and borax. The last point is flux can be applied as paste, powder, liquid, solid coating or gas. These are the equipment used for the gas welding process operation. Gas cylinder. In the gas cylinder pressure of oxygen is 125 kg per centimeter square. A set clean is 16 kg per centimeter square. Regulators, working pressure of oxygen, 1 kg per centimeter square. Working pressure of acetylene, 0.15 kg per centimeter square. Working pressure varies, depends upon the thickness of the work pieces welded. Third point equipment is pressure gauges, fourth hoses, fifth welding torch, sixth check valve, and seven is non-return valve, which is also known as NRV. This is the diagram of oxyacetylene welding. So in the oxyacetylene welding, uh, one cylinder, which is colored maroon, is a acetylene gas cylinder and a black color cylinder is known as a oxygen cylinder. So pressure regulator are attached to the top of the cylinder and these are the two hose pipe of which are connected to the rec holder and connect holder in the holder torch is the connected to the torch fuel gas valve. So torch oxygen valve in the this part oxygen and acetylene gas are mixed and then the flame converted to the during the workpiece operation. Types of flame. So oxygen is turned on 
flame immediately changes into a long white inner area feather area surrounded by a transparent blue envelope is called a carburizing flame which having a temperature 3000 degree celsius addition of little more oxygen give a bright whitish cone surrounded by the transparent blue envelope is called neutral flame it has a balance of fuel gas and oxygen and having a temperature at peak point is 3200 degree celsius used for welding steel aluminum copper and cast iron if more oxygen is added the cone becomes darker and more pointed while the envelope becomes shorter and more pierced is called oxidizing flame has the highest temperature about 3400 degrees celsius used for welding bra brass and brazing operation so in this slide a diagram of neutral flame so in the neutral flame both the gases are mixed equally oxygen and acetylene gas quantity of both gases are same oxidizing flame in the oxidizing flame oxygen added more rather than the acetylene gas in the oxidizing flame procedure in the carburizing flame carburizing flame is acetylene gas is more added behalf of the oxygen gas in the same process so these are the three flames of a flame in the types of flames first is neutral flame second is oxidizing flame and third is carburizing flame gas cutting is another part of the welding process ferrous metal is heated into red hot condition and a jet of pure oxygen is projected into the surface which rapidly oxidizes oxides having lower melting points than the metal melt and are blown away by the force of the jet to make a cut fast and efficient method of cutting steel to a high degree of accuracy torch is different from welding cutting torch has preheat of orifice and one central orifice for oxygen jet piercing and gouging are two important operations piercing used to cut a hole at the center of the plate or away from the edge of the plate second operation is gouging to cut a groove into the steel surface these are the operation during the gas cutting automatic gas cutting and manual gas cutting the it is a uh, it is a part of a railway track right line of railway track which cutted by the manually and this is the automatic gas cutting operation welding joints this is the butt joint when the two plates are opposite to each other joint corner okay right this is the joint corner right third one is the edge joint fourth is the lap joint overlapping to each other this is the t joint so last topic is brazing and soldering so what is the meaning of brazing it is a low temperature joining process it is performed at temperatures above 840 degree fahrenheit and it generally afford strengths comparable to those of the metal which its joins it is low temperature in that it is done below the melting point of the base metal it is achieved by diffusion without fusion melting of the base brazing can be classified as torch brazing dip brazing furnace brazing and induction brazing this is the operation diagram of a brazing this is the filler rod and this is the torch when the operation is operated during on, on the job advantage and disadvantage of brazing advantage is dissimilar metals which cannot be welded can be joined by brazing very thin metals can be joined metals with different thickness can be joined easily in brazing thermal stresses are not produced in the workpiece hence there is no distortion using this process 
carbide tips are braced on the steel toll holders the disadvantage is braced joints have lesser strength compared to welding because welding is the permanent joints process joint preparation cost is more can be used for thin sheet metals section another part of the welding process is soldering which is the last topic so it is a low temperature joining process it is performed at temperature below 840 degree fahrenheit for joining soldering is used for sealing as in automotive radiators or tin cans electrical connections joining thermally sensitive components joining dissimilar metals so this is the uh, welding process topic and classification of welding processes gas welding topic and brazing and soldering topic so in the next lecture we discuss more welding processes so thank you joining for today thank you